One of the most overlooked parts when it comes to filmmaking or just creating videos in general is getting accurate colors. Yes, it's possible to balance and save things in the post edit, but for me, it's never quite perfect. So the best way is to get it right from the get go. This way, it's only minimal adjustments and tweaks and your footage will look way cleaner and that is just so much easier, right? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how I use the Data Color Spider X Elite and the Spider Checker video in my workflow to help nail great colors no matter what. Although Data Color did send me these to test out, this is not a paid review. And these are my own opinions and workflow with the Spider Checker card and Spider Checker Elite. Now, these two items are really essential for getting accurate colors across your monitors and devices. And this will mean that when you deliver your final product to your clients, that you can be happy knowing that what you are seeing is what they are also seeing on their screens. Now, you may be thinking, man, this is a super boring topic. But I love color and I love color grading. And these fundamental processes are essential for accurate colors across your videos and making your work look more professional. So let's dive into this and check out these two products. And while you're at it, I'd love to know how you guys manage your color workflow and get great colors on your footage. Or is this something that you overlook and are struggling with and would love to improve? So drop some comments below and say hi and we'll chat down there. When starting any filming project, I always usually begin with a video treatment, a mood board, and just general ideas of how I want the video to come together. Now, this isn't a sponsored plug, but by far the most useful tool for this, in my opinion, is Milano. But don't just take my word for it. Tons of awesome creators also are using Milano. It's just so easy to build out initial ideas and scopes for what you want to achieve. And the base plan is also free. So I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description below. So go check it out. I'm pretty sure you will not regret it. But today we are talking color. So in this initial plan, I will specify shots, types, and mood choices for the scenes. So it might be a shot needs to feel more cold or it might need to be a little bit warmer. And this is something that's used a lot in filmmaking using color to convey a feeling or mood it's super super useful now it might be that you film events or weddings and you're thinking this doesn't really apply to me but let me tell you it's highly likely that your clients will want accurate looking colors for their videos too and the same principles should apply so you can see that color is super important for your videos. And getting it right at the start is where something like the Data Color Spider Checker comes in. It's always on hand in my kit when on a shoot, and this little iPhone size card is an advanced target for color calibration. Included inside are reference points for precise color to manage color from the very start of your shoot to the final adjustments in the edit. There are five high gloss target cards, two types of color cards for different workflows, a conventional color patch card, plus the patent pending color pattern card, a 22 step gradient grayscale card, and a solid neutral gray card for white balance and a focus star card. The pattern card design offers hues to two saturation levels, allowing you to see how colors are being captured, not just primary colors and secondary colors. Set your camera angle and frame up, adjust your lighting and get ready to roll that camera. Hold the color checker card up to the screen and angle the card towards the camera, avoiding reflections. So for me, I like to move the card around in the frames. So when back in post edit, I can pick the best angle for color representation. Record a few frames for your color reference and you are set. Now, if you are in a studio environment or a live environment, you can use this to do a live check of your waveform and vector scopes to gauge color and exposure settings. But if you're like me, you set the correct color on recording and then you can go back into the post edit and just tweak the colors around for super accurate colors. Just use your editing software to correct exposure, gamma curves and color. So as you can see, the Spider Checker Card is a super useful piece of kit to have in your bag. 
Yes, it might not be as exciting as purchasing a new lens, but the spider checker video is essential if you want quick, easy way to ensure color accuracy in your videos while on location or back in the studio. And if you're working with a colorist on a project, they will definitely appreciate the extra color information that the spider checker video provides in the edit. Hop on over into the description below to check it out, but don't leave yet as the next part is super important and possibly where you are going wrong with the whole color process if you are using something like a color card and you are not happy with your color still. This next bit is super important, so let's dive into the next bit. Okay, so you have used your color checker card to make sure you are nailing your tones in camera on location and then you get all your footage back into the studio, your bedroom, living room, laptop, and you start grading and working away and send it off to your client and they are like, man, these look terrible. But I use the color card, right? So what's up? Well, let me tell you, monitor calibration. Now, I'm not just talking about the actual monitor color here either. That's a small piece in this puzzle. The room you edit in is super unique. There are so many colors bouncing around the room. There's window light coming in, light from desk lamps, and I can go on and on here. The light in your room makes a huge difference to how your brain determines the colors that you are seeing and that the monitor is showing you. This is why most colorists and people doing color work will work in dark rooms with no lights hitting the screen so they know what they are seeing is the most accurate version of what they are trying to do. This is where something like the Spider X2 Elite comes in. Now the Spider calibrators can be used across a variety of monitors, plus it's super portable and rugged, and you can put it into your camera bag, making monitor calibration easy and ensuring color accuracy for your video displays wherever you are. So why wouldn't you have one of these in your kit? Calibrating your monitor is fast and you can do it in under two minutes. Now, the spider calibration software creates a color profile for your computer based on your lighting in your room and environment setting. And this is applied to your monitor. Calibrating my monitors and also using a color checker card has always been a big, big part of my workflow for color management. I think it's one of the most overlooked parts of the process, especially if you are someone who films and edits their own stuff. I see and get asked a lot, how do you get great colors in your images and videos? And it all comes down to having an accurate reference from the get go. Now, why would you put all the effort into filming a great piece of work, but not even think about the initial color you are looking for in the finished project? So I just wanna say a big, big thanks again to Data Color for sending out the new video checker card and the Spider Elite calibration device to test. They have been super useful and I've loved using them. If you wanna know more about Data Color and color management, head over to the Data Color website. Now I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description below, but there is so much awesome technical information down there into color. And myself, I'm always learning about this and it's such a good reference for information. Now I will say there are some awesome resources on the website and some really nice case studies showing some of the biggest brands using these tools to help them deliver awesome looking work. So thanks again for tuning in. I've been Ian Snape and I will see you on another video really, really soon. Cheers guys. Take it easy.